just a little intro to the um, Guild 30 litre capacity stainless steel hoover this is a really smart piece of kit I'm going to use it to clean out this because it got soaked when I had a torrential downpour it's my dog pee and poo area it's a little um, area which I made for him in the garden and I'm going to use my Guild 30 first of all let the professionals tell you all about it in this next video um, and I've made a video of mine on the end Introducing the Guild 30 litre steel drum wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Featuring a powerful 1500 watt motor, this large capacity multi-purpose vacuum cleaner is specifically designed to handle everything from fine dust to litres of dirty water. Whether you are hands on with DIY or cleaning up liquid spills, the Guild 30 litre wet and dry vacuum cleaner takes care of it. The dual mode floor head is suitable for both wet and dry vacuuming across all floor surfaces. Designed to maximise suction performance, the dual mode floor head easily switches between hard floor and carpet with a flick of the foot switch. The included crevice tool and extension wands help to clean those hard to reach areas. While the dusting brush is great for cleaning everything from blinds to shelving units. By connecting the suction hose to the dust extraction port on any compatible power tool, and switching on the vacuum cleaner, you can extract dust as you work. This maintains a safer and cleaner working environment and is ideal for collecting everything from fine dust from your sander to wood chippings from your table saw. Switch the dry use cartridge filter to the supplied foam filter and the Guild 30 litre wet and dry vacuum cleaner instantly becomes capable of collecting large volumes of liquid. Great for tackling liquid spillages and unblocking drains. The included accessories help you tackle every job. The convenient drainage port makes emptying the collection tank quick and easy. The Guild 30 litre wet and dry vacuum cleaner comes supplied with everything you need to complete the toughest of tasks. For dry vacuuming, a cartridge filter captures dust particles and deposits them directly into the collection tank. For additional filtration and easier disposal, five universal dust bags are also included. Built to withstand the toughest of tasks, this Guild vacuum cleaner offers a compact footprint, large carrying handle and onboard storage for both cable and accessories. The complete machine is easy to store in any cupboard, work van or under a workshop bench. Each accessory mentioned in this video is supplied with the vacuum. This is a little pond that I made. It's a pee poo pond for my dog, so this is what I'm going to drain out. I'm going to use this Guild 30 litre capacity wet and dry hoover. Let's see what it can do. That's what I'm going to be doing there. One word of warning if you're going to, when you're sucking out the water, make sure you turn your appliance around the other way because the vent at the top will actually blow if you sucking any foam up will actually blow it out all over you so always make sure that top outlet is facing away from you so all I'm going to do is drop the nozzle in the end of the, uh, the pool and suck, suck up the waste brilliant machine I'm really really pleased with it I had another one before this um, a bottom sucker but it was rubbish this stuff picks up off the floor it's really really good machine I'm so pleased with it I actually got it cheaper it's now I think about 80 quid and I only paid about 65 for mine well worth the money also check when you're um, hoovering out your water that you're not overfilling it it will make a funny noise when it gets to the top of the filter but as I said if you've overfilled it that will blow out through that top out vent so that's a word of warning okay let's just see what this little baby can do now i'm so impressed with this machine i had another one before this which was like a bottom sucker and it was absolutely useless it really was um this one is so powerful so I just drop the end in and it just sucks all the water up do make sure though you do not overfill it and as i said make sure that vent that i pointed out earlier is facing the other way around otherwise you will get covered in whatever you're sucking up I did. I got covered in foam. It's awful. Also, um, probably if you're 
picking stuff up like them. I should be wearing gloves, um, but uh, there you go, I'm not. There you go, so that's as full as what I would fill it. And it's just take the top off. I'll drag it over to my drain. Tip it out. Down the sink on its wheel. Just turn it up on its side. Tip it out. How easy is that? Put loads of water. Really pleased with it. Bring it back up again. And you're ready to go again. I just, because uh, I'm doing my dog pull, I always wash it out with the hose pipe. That's before the bands come in. Um, and then um, make sure it's all clean and then um, I can suck up the water again just to make sure it's fully cleaned out and obviously it doesn't smell of dog's pee because that's what this is about it's cleaning out the dog's pee and poo pond and by the way I'm not very rich so I had to make this as a self-made one it's up the corner because I didn't want my dog's peeing and pooing all over my garden so I've slabbed it all because I don't like gardening and stuck this it's only pond lining over um, a wooden frame um, and then covered up and then that's just latched on the top so I'm going to get some metal um, to put over the top of this because wood will rot in the end and then just put grass on the top of it and both of my dogs do pee and poo in that it's ideal saves it going all, all over my garden everywhere it's all in one spot I'd wash it out once once well but twice a day brilliant stuff this this machine is absolutely brilliant so it will actually hoover up my tiles the concrete tiles i've got to repaint that floor um with floor paint and i will actually wash all them t all them tiles and um I'll, I'll use this hoover to hoover all the water up with it brilliant this is me just washing out the hose now um before i hang it up to dry i'll take the hose off and hang it up to dry make sure it's clean because I'm using um, it to clean away dog's pee which you don't want that sitting in it um, just unscrew the end if it looks difficult it's because I'm an older person better an old fart and uh, I haven't got the strength in my hands but you know I'm nearly 70 so if I can do it anybody can do it really and like I say I was a very strong person but my strength goes as you get older but this is such a lightweight machine absolutely brilliant I'm really pleased with it very very pleased with it so this is you'll be seeing soon the end bit this is my pond now all nice and clean this is me putting some bleach in it well not bleach it's dog dog smelly perfume i put in there dog perfume which is all dog friendly that i get um and then i'm going to um put the lid down and there you go pee and poo area smelling good cleaned up with the guild 30 litre stainless steel drummed very pleased <laughs>